the girl. Oh, oh, shit. Savage is an extreme action adventure park located near Cancun. In this guide and review, I'll show you what to expect and how you can get the most out of your visit. If you want to check ticket prices and available discounts, the link is in the description of this video. It's a link to the official Savage website, so it's safe and it has the lowest prices. I'm going to show you the activities in the order that we did them in. This worked well because we had plenty of time to see and do everything. But when you visit, you can do any activity in any order that you want. The first activity was the ropes course. This is a series of mid-air obstacles that you complete from tower to tower. There are four levels, each of which increase in height and difficulty. They recommend starting at one of the two lower levels and then moving up to a higher one later on if you want. I think it's good advice. We started at the second level and then about halfway through, we went up to the third. The two lower levels are fun and challenging enough for most people. Going up to a higher one isn't necessarily more fun, it's just for those who crave the challenge and want to push themselves. Moving up to a higher level was a challenge itself because you have to climb the tower to get there. The ropes course is very well thought out. They do a good job of balancing it out. So after some difficult obstacles, they have easier ones to help give you a break and restore your confidence. Most of the obstacles were actually pretty manageable as far as difficulty, but they can get physically demanding at times. For safety, they give you gloves, a helmet, and you're fully strapped into a dual harness system. They also have staff watching and ready to help, so I felt completely safe. This is a really fun activity and I highly recommend doing it if you visit Savage. Now for some quick tips for this activity, it's going to take about an hour and 15 minutes to complete it, so make sure you use the washroom, apply sunscreen, just be ready before you start it. They do have water fountains on some of the towers, so you'll be able to get a drink, and you will need closed toe shoes or water shoes for this activity. Next is the white water rafting. This is the only place in Cancun and the entire Riviera Maya where you can go whitewater rafting, and apparently it's the largest man-made circuit in the world. A guide will accompany you in the raft. These guides are certified by the International Rafting Federation, so you'll be in good hands, and before you start, they'll brief you on safety procedures and how to do the activity. This activity was a lot more fun than I was expecting, but it's only available from 12 to 3 p.m., so make sure you plan accordingly so you don't miss it. Next is the jet boat. These are fast boats that take you around and do a few 360 degree spins on the water. They say the boats can go as fast as 46 miles or 75 kilometers per hour. I have no way of verifying that, but it felt very fast. Since GoPros aren't allowed on this ride, you can buy a video of your experience. I bought it so I can show you what it looks like on this video, but Overall, I can't say I'm a big fan of it. I wish they used less stock footage and more raw footage of our actual ride, and I do find it to be a little bit expensive. So that's probably my one complaint about this park. Next is the monster truck. These are large, powerful off-road vehicles built specifically for Savage. This is proper off-roading, similar to rock crawling. So it's about skill, not speed. You have to navigate the course by observing the terrain and applying the gas and brakes strategically. This was a really fun activity. For us, it was one of the highlights. But the ride can get a bit rough and bumpy, so if you have any medical conditions like motion sickness or back pain, you may want to consider if this activity is right for you or pack your medication just in case. Closed toe shoes or water shoes are mandatory for this activity. And to drive, you need to be 18 or older and present a valid driver's license. Now, when we visited, nobody asked for our driver's license, but I still recommend that you bring it with you. And the last activity that we did was the zip line. This is a front facing zip line. So you lie on your stomach and go down head first, kind of like Superman. It's a short flight. It takes about two minutes to get from one end to the other. It's not too intense and it's just good, easy fun. The only activity we did not do was the kayaks. And that's because we've done kayaking before and we wanted to have more time and energy for everything else. 
If you are interested in this activity though, they have three different lengths of paths from short to long, and they have single or two person kayaks. Life jackets will also be provided. They also have the splash zone. This is a full water park for kids aged five to 11. And for everybody else, they have a swimming pool, hammocks and beach chairs nearby. Those are all the activities. Overall, our day at Savage was great. We thought the park was totally worth the price of admission, but tickets can be a bit pricey. So I suggest buying them from the official Savage website because they have the lowest price and they offer two different types of discounts. They have an early booking discount where you can save up to 15% off by booking your ticket at least three weeks in advance. There's also a children's discount where kids aged 5 to 11 get 25% off their ticket and kids 4 and younger get in for free. Over time, the details of some of these discounts may change and occasionally they're going to have promotions and discounts. So be sure to check the description of this video for any updates and promotions that may be going on. As for the different types of tickets, there are two. The first is the all-inclusive admission. This is what you want to buy to visit the park and do everything that I showed here. It includes access to all the activities and attractions, including the splash zone, the snack bar, and the buffet. There's also the basic admission. This still gives you access to the snack bar and the buffet. And as for activities, you get access to just the ropes course, kayak, and splash zone. The basic admission is great for those who can't participate in some of the more extreme activities, but still want to attend the park with their friends and families. For all the tickets and discounts that I mentioned, check the links in the description of this video. When you're buying your tickets, there's a transportation option that you can buy. This will allow a bus to pick you up and drop you off at your hotel or resort. It's a simple way to get to the park and back to your hotel. Otherwise, you can arrange your own transportation. It's a fairly easy park to get to. There's also a photo package that you can buy. There are photo points scattered throughout the park. The chip in your helmet automatically collects the photos for you and your group. I do recommend getting this package because you end up with some really nice photos that you wouldn't be able to take yourself. For food, they have a snack bar featuring everything from pizza and hot dogs to fresh fruits and juices. It's a great place to rest and refresh between the activities. Lunch is served at their buffet. The selection and quality of the food was actually surprisingly good. Everything was delicious and high quality. I really enjoyed my lunch at Savage. For your visit to Savage, make sure you bring sunscreen and a swimsuit. I also recommend bringing a towel and a change of clothes. The park has lockers, change rooms, and showers. You'll need a pair of shoes. They can either be aqua shoes or any closed toe shoe as long as it's comfortable to walk in and it can get wet. You'll also need your ID and a printed copy of your tickets as backup. You should also bring a credit card or cash just in case. And that is Savage. My friends and I had a great time. Some of the activities were a little bit challenging, but that just made them even more exciting and satisfying to complete. So if you think you're up for the challenge and you like what I've shown you in this video, then I highly recommend visiting Savage. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you a good idea of what to expect and how to plan for your visit to Savage. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments because I try to read and reply to everyone.